So welcome everyone. Let's have a chat about uh, present perfect and past simple. It is uh, over here in 2B on page 22. Could you please uh, tell me uh, some example of present perfect? Anybody? Give me an example. Give me an uh, example of present perfect. I, I have been in London. Uh, we should not say in, but you're very close. I have been to London. Uh, I have been to London, okay. Excellent, good. So it is right here. And can you give me one example of past simple? I was. I was in London, yeah, I could use the same. All right, I was in London. Is it okay to leave it like this? Do I need to say anything here? I need to say uh, when? Uh, yeah, you don't have to if it's uh, clear from the context. If I have a situation and I talk with you about my holiday and I only say I was in London, then you know when it was. But I can also say it in the sentence. So I would say when, right? Okay, good. So I think it will be easy for you. Let's have a look at the uh, meaning then. Can you tell me what are the basic ideas behind uh, present perfect? So, uh, for example, here, I have been to London. Do I know when? Vim, kdy se dostalo? Do I know no, when? No, I yeah. don't know. So, I would say unclear past, nejasná minulost. Okay? Unclear past. So, that means I don't say when. Okay? And it is not clear from the context. We don't know from the context. Or I can use uh, special words, right? What are some of the words that will tell you that we should use present perfect? Yet. Yet, okay. So for this, we have a special words like not yet. Yeah, not, not, it's usually with not, but it can be without it. Can you also translate it? I think, Lukas, you said it, right? Or Martin? Oh, yes. Martin, can you translate it? If I say, I have not been to London yet, for example. Jako ještě jsem tam nebyl. Well, good job. Is there any other word that will tell you that we need to use present perfect? Never. Ne okay. Maybe. Okay. Never or ever. Yeah. Never would be nikdy, right? Ever, někdy. So ever is in the questions. Can you make a question with ever here? Uh, for example, Rosalie, could you make a question with this? Have you ever been uh, to London? Excellent, good job, good job. Is there any other word like this? Any different word? Uh, yeah, already. Yes, all right. So I would use it here already. Uh, do teďka se něco nestalo nebo stalo? Anybody? Do teďka se něco nestalo. Takže we use, for example, so far. Right? You could use until now or till now. Right? These three, they are the same, basically. So you could use so far, until now, or till now. Excellent. So uh, maybe there are more, but I cannot think of more now. And there is another important aspect here. Is it finished or unfinished? Unfinished. Unfinished, because as I see here, so far, right, for example, until now, so it is unfinished. That means it has a clear, or let's say it has an effect on now, All right? It has an effect, so that means it can continue or something has happened which uh, changed the present. I'll give you one example. I will give you one example here. Um, I wanted to draw it. Wait, 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 where is it here? Uh, let me show you a little timeline. Uh, 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 and just a sec, all right. So let me do it like this. Here we have a timeline. But it, but it. And now here we have now, okay? It's happening now. Where I am here, it, it's happening now. Now, when I look at this uh, present present perfect, guys, can you please stop drawing on this? Uh, I will do it for you, don't worry. 
I will share it once again. Uh, just to make it super clear. Uh, okay. Now, when I have present perfect, I'm going somewhere to the past. I don't know where, right? This is one possibility that we said. I don't know where. I will make it a question mark. Do I know when? I don't know, right? But then there's another possibility. So this would be for A. This is uh, what we discussed here, unclear past, okay? And then the second can be the second possibility is here. That uh, I start somewhere here and I talk about this, that it continues until now. So this can be for um, so far, until now, till now, or there is an effect on now. Let me give you one example. Um, it has rained, so the streets are wet. Takže zapršelo a proto jsou ty ulice mokré, for example. Or I will see you, you are bleeding, you have blood coming out of your hand and you, will say, you would say, I have cut myself. What is that some say? I have cut myself. And the effect is the blood coming out now. So I can see or I can hear uh, the result of uh, some action that has happened. I don't know when, I know it's somewhere in the past, but I know the result and the result is the blood, all right? Or you would be crying, right? You are crying. And then you would say, I would ask you what happened. And you would tell me, oh, I have failed my test. Okay. And I don't know when you, you took the test, but I know it has happened already. And I know that there is this effect on now that you feel sad. All right. So this would be for this one here. Let me copy it. Or maybe I can just do it like this. This one uh, here is for present. Perfect. Are there any questions? All good. I believe you've done it already. No. All good. I, I believe you've done it, so it should not be so hard. Let's try the form. So uh, how can I form it in general? So what are the verbs that I use? Have or what if it's he, she, or it? What do I say? Has. Has, Has. yeah, all right. And uh, the next, what do I use afterwards? So-called PP, past participle, okay? Let me write it like this, past participle. So the third form. As you know, we have uh, irregular verbs and regular verbs. With irregular verbs, you must remember. For example, here, I have been to London, okay? I must remember, be, was, been. But then I also have regular verbs. For example, have, has, plus uh, ed, right? I use the verb ed. This is for regular, regular verbs. And this is for irregular. Okay, now, uh, this is easy. This is for the normal positive sentence. What about negative? How can I make a negative? I haven't been to yes. London. Yeah, excellent. So I have not been to London, for example. I can also, um, as you made it shorter, I heard it from you. How can I say that again in a shorter way? I haven't been contractions to so scratch and it's funny so i haven't been excellent or you could also make it in a different way i've not been i've not been to london okay so uh i have a question for you when are the situations when you should not use the contractions when should we not use this that it's not okay especially to write it yeah any idea and this this goes for any contract um, there might be a situation even at this exam when it would be better to write uh, contractions but only a very specific situation but generally you are right yeah but uh, i have okay then let me ask you this way what do you think is more formal formal nation that means more polite as well Full version. Yeah, yeah, exactly. So this would be more formal or polite. Now, here's the thing. 
this is how we should write it, okay? It, it is formal to write it this way and polite. But even when you speak and you have some, let's say a presentation and it's very formal presentation, most people will still use contractions. So when you speak, contractions are quite becoming very common, even in formal language. But if you want to be very polite, you should not use them, okay? So that means more formal and polite to not use contractions. So when I said that you can use contractions during your maturita exam, what is the specific situation when it's a good idea to write uh, contractions during your exam? Can you think of it? When you need to write a letter, for example, and they will ask you, hey, write a letter to your friend. And that, of course, means that it is informal. So when you, for example, write an informal uh, letter, uh, to a friend, then um, actually it would be wrong to not use the con uh, to not use the contractions. It would be wrong. So if you, for example, write to your friend and you say, "I have not been to London," they would actually see it as a mistake. So you see that it depends. Huh? It depends. Always try to think about the situation you are in. All right. And how about the question? How can I make questions? Anybody? Have you? And the third form. Have you ever? Uh, yeah, exactly. Have you been? Blah, blah, blah. And what is the short answer? Yes, I. Yes, I have. Yes, or I, yes have. I haven't. Uh, no, 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 I know I, I haven't. No, I haven't. Yeah, excellent. Or I have not, right? If you want to be more polite, I have not. Okay, easy, right? Not too bad. Yeah. Now let's see. Easy peasy. I hope so. I hope so. Um, I just want to be sure because, you know, uh, this is super important to understand in English. It might be very problematic for some. Uh, let me see this part then. There is a special case, but let me put it to... Oh, yeah, we are informed. That's okay. So there's a special case where uh, the verb go can be translated as gone or translated, used as gone and been to. I'll give you one example. I have been to a, to a shop and I have gone to a shop. Can you give me um, an explanation about the difference between these two sentences? Grammatically speaking, they are both correct and they both come from the verb go. Can you please tell me what the difference? Šel jsem do obchodu a šel jsem do obchodu, ale nevrátil jsem se. Ah, takže bychom řekli odešel. Odešel jsem do obchodu, že? Odešel. That means I'm not here now. All right? And if I say I've been to, that means I'm back. Right? Takže šel jsem. I am, but I am back. Excellent. Good. All right, we will soon try it in exercises, but a few more things about past simple. So, uh, by the way, don't forget that in questions, we still leave uh, this uh, third form. It will still stay, okay? This does not happen later in past uh, simple. So, let's try it here. We have this example. So, what is the meaning of uh, past uh, tenses? What are, the again, the general ideas? If we look here, it is the opposite, right? We have unclear past and unfinished. So what is the opposite here? Neký je ten opak od toho? Nejasná minulost, neskončený, to znamená minulý čas, right? The past tense will be clear past and finished, okay? So that's the idea. Very different from Czech, right? Clear past and finished. To znamená skončený a jasná minulost. Jak můžu minulost jasně učit? How can I talk about the past and make it very clear? One idea uh, is context, right? Context is one possibility. Anything else? With time, last night, maybe, yeah, yeah, yeah. or so, something. Or, or, yeah, yeah, so let me write it like this. A context or words like, and then we can write. Uh, we can talk about time. So for example, at six o'clock. Anything else? Yesterday, last night, Excellent. Uh, one year ago. Mm -hmm. So we have last, and we would say what? Uh, something and then ago. All right. Still something? Something more? 
What about a year? So for example, in 2019, all right? And now, uh, what is very important, I can talk about this year. What if I say in 2021? Do you think I could use it for this test? No. Why not? Why not? It's unfinished. Excellent, yeah. So this year is still not finished yet. And that means if I talk about something I have done this this year, I can, or not done, I can do it later, right? It is not finished. So um, uh, the year is true, but only if the year is already finished, okay? So even if you are during the last day of, the, of this year, you still have to use uh, present perfect, but the very first minute, the next year you can already use past because the year is finished all right so uh i will write it here it must be finished right so the years must be finished but if i talk about this year it is not finished yet and i will be in present perfect okay um so and also months right so for example in february for example and again it must be finished Right? Because if I again talk about uh, January, which is this month, January hasn't finished yet, and I should use present perfect. All right, then we have finished. Uh, oh, and by the way, um, I, I have thought of more. In the morning, in the afternoon, in the evening, at night, and so on. And again, it must be finished. If, if uh, the morning is still now, as I speak, it is unfinished. So I would still have to use uh, present perfect. So again, it must be finished. Okay, and finished means there's no effect, right? No effect on now. All right. Now, uh, very quickly, let me just do the timeline again. Uh, here, I know exactly what I'm talking about. So you can think of it like this, okay? Uh, I know when. What if I use, uh, for example, several uh, verbs in the past? And I would say, yesterday I went home, I had a shower, and then I had dinner. Does it mean that it happens one by one chronologically? You know, chronologically, other to the What do you think? All right. Uh, I went home, I had dinner, I watched TV. Is it like this? I went home, I watched TV, and I had dinner. No. It, it is. Mm -hmm. It is. Yeah. It is, yeah. It is like this. Uh, yeah. So uh, when you have, let's say, when you have uh, past simple, or let's say more verbs in past simple in the sentence, it means that uh, the actions happen one by one it knows how to go okay very important because it can there are sentences where uh, you would have to use uh, past perfect the minuli chas a tam sme ty si možná brali tak nie bo možná s inými učiteli ste to brali and then this would actually uh, change the idea that it is not one by one but something had happened before all right uh, so just remember, when you have past simple, more past simples in one sentence, then it is one by one. You give me a list of uh, things that are happening one by one. All right, and then form. Let's try the form. Uh, so normal sentence would be, what would it look like? Anybody can try? Normal sentence. So for example, I went to the cinema, okay? or I watched TV. Now, so uh, which one is regular and which one is irregular? Yuzi, can you tell me? Uh, regular is I went to the cinema. Uh, no, 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 the other way around. The other way around. No part. So it's I watched TV and irregular is I went to the cinema. Yeah, that's it. So a uh, regular. So if it's regular, we simply add ed, right? Watched. This is how you know that it's regular. Okay. For, ir for irregular verbs, it is the second form. And you must remember, there's no other way. Okay? We had the third form here, the third form. And uh, this is the for the regular verbs. We have the same ed. 
Okay, okay. And um, what about the negative? Can you make a negative out of this? For example, Martin? Uh, wasn't or weren't. Mm -hmm. uh, that means, uh, yeah, when I have, let me also give you one more example here. I was home yesterday, for example. So when I have the verb be, it can stay on its own. I wasn't home yesterday. This one is a special case. Also, if you say I couldn't, I could do it. I could do it. Mosem to udělat. How can I make it negative here? Martin, can you try? Couldn't. I couldn't. So these two stay the same here. Huh? They, they are okay. I couldn't do it. But uh, I went to cinema. Can you say it in negative? For example, Philip, can you try? Nešel jsem do kina. I didn't go. Didn't go, yeah. To the cinema. Fine. Right. So I didn't go. Don't forget that here, go will go back to its previous form. And uh, we have do, like, I don't go. This would be the present tense. But the past tense from went uh, has changed and uh, went into this. Okay? So do will become did. I didn't go. Uh, that's it. And the same will happen here. For example, Ota, can you try? I. Uh, I. No, it's the, it's the same as the third one, or not? No, no, we have this one. I watch TV. So what's the verb? Oh, sorry. I didn't watch TV. I didn't watch TV. Okay, that's it. So again, don't forget, I didn't watch, just watch and go here. Yeah? Uh, the, the verb will be in its basic form. Now, uh, pronunciation, we don't have to do it too much. That's okay. Uh, contrast, we will learn here soon. Fine. Uh, questions, yeah, let's try the questions as the last thing. Um, all right, how can I make a question? Milan, can you give me an example of a question here for the first sentence? Um, was you at home? Yesterday. Uh, not was, not was. It is you, right? So I was, you were. He, she, it was. Takže I was, you were. Mm -hmm. Were you, okay? Were you home yesterday? And what will be the answer, Milan? Yes, I. Yes, I am. No, no, not I am. That would be now, right? But I say yes. Minulosti byl jsem tam. Yes, I. Yes, I was. Yes, I was. Or no, I wasn't. I wasn't. Okay. Always be careful, all right, about this because it, it makes a big difference. Um, the verb you should use in the answers is always the first one here. It's always the first one. So, for example, here we had the questions uh, Have you been? Yes, I have. It's always the first one, the grammatical one. Okay. Um, and now. What about here? How can I make a question? Uh, Lukáš, can you try? I couldn't do it. Lukáš, are you there? Yeah, yeah. Okay, let's try someone else. Rosalie, how can you make a question from this? Uh, could, uh, could you do it? Could you do it? Yes. Excellent. Yes, I... Could and never, no, I couldn't. Oh, I couldn't. Yes. All right. And this, and so, then this, these are special cases. Uh, yeah. Welcome back, Ota. It's okay. Yeah. Sorry, with uh, with the problem with Wi-Fi. Yeah, that, that's fine. That's fine. And now the last one, which would be the most cases, easy. Can you tell us how we make a question from this one? Uh, did you go to the cinema? Yeah, that's it. Good job, cinema. And then yes, I. Easy. Did. Yes, I did. Or no, I didn't. Didn't. All right. I wanted to do this. Uh, I know that it might be a little bit boring. All right. I hate grammar myself. But uh, yeah, it's super important. This one. We have to really understand it. Um, I forgot, by the way, to copy this one. Oh, what's happening? Here. Okay. I will just copy this one and let's try some exercises together. Uh, 
Let me put it here. I will send this to your Google Classroom, all right? You can always have a look at it later. And now, when we go to your, to your textbook here, this is basically the theory that we wanted to discuss. Very quickly, let's just see if you remember what we talked about. So, present perfect and past simple. We use, now you have to choose the tense, to talk about a specific occasion in the past. So, a specific událost nebo nějaká příležitost, která se stala v minulosti. So, a specific určená. What do I use, for example, Martin? Pa present perfect or past simple? Past simple. Yes. Good job. We use blah, blah, blah to talk about an event during a period of time that is still continuing. So, a nějaká událost během uh, nějaké časové nějakého času, který stále pokračuje. So, what do I say, Ota? Present perfect or past simple? Uh, present perfect. Excellent, good job. We use blah, blah, blah to say how long for a situation that has existed, often with for, since, and how long. Yeah, I forgot this one, but I think you will understand. Uh, Rosaline? Um, past simple. Uh, for... Since and how long? Yeah, global. Uh, so it's a yeah. Like uh, present perfect. Yes, and let me show you that there are examples when it's not true, when it can be passed. All right, I will show you. Uh, uh, we have four. We have since is always here. I will write it here. Wait, wait. We had the words. Yeah, I, I don't see it now. Where is it? Yeah, here. So we have since, we have four, all right? But, um, and how long? When I ask you for how long, the, the thing is that it can be on both sides. I, I will show you how. <laughs> this is quite uh, tricky, this one. All right. Now, uh, let me give you an, a contra yeah, contrast. Let me write it as contrast. I have uh, been a student since I came to Prague, for example. You see, we have used since, and I have uh, present perfect, and I have past. So if we think about it in a, on a timeline, we can actually put uh, past simple and uh, present perfect in one sentence, all right? <laughs> What's happening there? <laughs> okay, now, um, I came to Prague, okay? This is the situation here. I came to Prague. And since then, I have been a student. Okay. I have been. I have been. All right. So it continues until now while uh, I use since, which will tell me the point from which it has been going on. But after since, as you see in this sentence, uh, as you see in the sentence, after since, I use uh, past. Okay. Now another one. Uh, how long did you study English? Right. And then I can also say how long have you studied English? Can you tell me the difference in, between these two questions? There's a big difference, but they are both correct grammatically speaking. No, si studovat tu angličtinu a už ji nestuduješ. Uh, which one? Uh, and which one is uh, it? The first. Yeah, yeah. Okay. So this one. Jakoby to nestuduješ a to druhý, že jakoby jak si jak si jak dlouho si studuješ angličtinu, ale už ji jako ještě studuješ. Excellent. Good. Unfinished. That means studying studying now. You see, so it's not kind of true, right, in the textbook. It is not true. There are situations when you actually uh, use it, right? But how long a situation has existed? But look, there can be situations when uh, it doesn't. And then you would use past. Uh, another thing was for, right? So I have studied English for 10 years. And again, I studied English for 10 years. They are both correct. In, grammatically speaking, but there's a difference in meaning. Philip, can you explain the difference? Mm. <laughs> Irino. 
You have some uh, parrot over there or what? No, Erika. <laughs> okay, okay. Yeah, yeah, another student. Fine. Now, Philip, could you explain? Mm. I have studied English for the years. Yeah, že už jsem dokončil to studium. Ah, no, no, no. Tak ne, tak je to naopak. Yeah, yeah, I'm finished. Uh, it is present perfect, okay? Mm -hmm. And then we have finished. Studied English. All right, I talk about my studies. So I'm not studying now. All right. Now let's go back to your book. And over here, number four, we use blah, blah, blah to talk about an event that has a strong connection with the present. Often with just already and yet. Yeah, just, I also forgot. Let's go back here. So that will be easy now to see. Just právě se něco stalo, že? Právě. No, we're still. <laughs> yeah, I believe so as well. So number four, what will that be? Anyone? Perfect. Present perfect, okay. And the yeah, last one, perfect. we use blah, blah, blah to talk about an experience at an unspecified time in the past, often with ever or never. Milan. It's Milan, can you try? It's past simple. Ever and never. Někdy a nikdy. No. I don't know when, right? Unspecified. Sorry, present, uh, present perfect. Present perfect, yeah, that's it. So now I believe that your written task will be much easier to, to work on this, all right? Uh, also, there's another box. Let's see this one. We often use present perfect to ask or talk about an experience and then the past simple to give specific information. So. Uh, Rosalie, could you try and complete this sentence? Okay. Uh, uh, yeah. Uh, have ever, right? Have you, have you ever been? Have you ever been? Mm -hmm. Yes, I been. Uh, yeah. Last week. Last week, right? No. Yes, as as I was. Uh, but we have a bowling that is with the verb go. Now we have to use go in the past only. I, um, I, I went. Huh? Okay. I went bowling last week. Okay. So if you remember, we said that been is also a possible form of go, right? Mm -hmm. And this is why we have been here, but it's still go, basically. Mm -hmm. Okay, so this is all the theory that you need, right? For the written task, have a look at the article, complete the, the, the exercises here. If you have any problems, you can always send me an email. And for the speaking exercise here, just make a recording, all right? And uh, speak on your own. So describe, uh, you can basically ask yourself and you will show me that you know uh, the questions. And in Grammar Builder, on page 100 and, uh, 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 129, that's not correct, it's one more. So you can actually study it here, all right? Uh, present, wait, wait. Yeah, it's this one here, 113. Write the past participles of the verbs. Write questions with yet and answers with already and yet. Write been or gone. And uh, past simple or present perfect. So exercises one to four on page 130. All right. I believe it's all written in uh, on Google Classroom. It should be easy. Okay, now let's try one last thing for today. Uh, and that's right here this little exercise i will send it to your chat and let's try this together you can also go there but you will see it here i will share it with you so simple past or present perfect okay so here we must use the verb have uh can you try this one martin that would be the form i had lunch with emily yesterday why we have oh, because yesterday is finished. Yesterday. Clear past. Excellent. Lukash, can you try the next? I cannot hear you, Lukash. I think Lukash yeah, is I sleeping. I know. Sorry. Oh, Lukash is here now. Good. L Lukash, can you try? Uh, my son. 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 From school. Again? My son hadn't come home from school yet. Hadn't? That would be a past perfect. So you'll send me only chance. No. 
Well, that would be a big, big problem because uh, past perfect must be in the sentence with uh, past simple. On nemůže stát samostatně vyvětě a tady nemá jiný, uh, jiný minulý údaj jako u minulosti. That's the problem. And they also ask you, use simple past or present perfect. Takže přepřítomný čas anebo minulý prostý. So what would it be, Ota? Can you, can you correct it? I think my son uh, uh, hadn't no, no, come. No, 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 no. look, look. He hasn't. The form is here, right? Oh, uh, okay, okay. Hasn't, hasn't no. come. Yes, correct. So has not come. come. Because we have come, came, come. Yeah, it is irregular. So yeah. my son stále nepřišel ze školy. Okay, ah, okay. Uh, let's try this one. Your bed today. Takže uslal si dneska. Let's try this one, uh, Rosaline. Um, did you make your bed today? Um, okay. Now, do you think that today is finished? No, no, it's not. Yeah, so maybe I will do it later. Maybe I have not done it yet, but I will do it in the evening. Okay. Um, uh, have you made your bed today? If it's the afternoon, I ask you in the afternoon and I say in the morning, then I would say, did you make the bed in the morning? Yes. Yes, I did. Okay. But then today is not finished. That's the only time I have here in this uh, question. Now, last summer, let's try this, Philip. Where you went last summer? Uh, it's a question. It's a question. Yeah. Let me show you here. Let's go to this one. Questions are here. Well, we have the verb go, right? So it's even here. Mm -hmm. uh, and it doesn't matter if it's how or where or when in front of it. It doesn't matter. So you should still use it. Where did? Where did you go? Last summer. Yeah, exactly. If the summer is not finished yet, if it, let's say it's August, we are in the middle of August, then how can I change the question? If I say this summer, right? Tohle léto. Kam, kde si byl tohle léto, ale ještě někam můžu jet. How can I change the question then? If I, instead of last, I would use this summer. Where have you been? Yeah? This would be this summer. Pokud by stále to léto bylo, nebylo by skončené, tak bych řekl, where have you been? Otherwise, I must use this, because last summer, milé léto, it is definitely finished. So, this week, all right? Uh, Milan, can you try this one? Mm. Think about this week. Is it finished or not finished? It's not finished. Yeah. So, what should I use then? I have not I... and now we have where no seat meet oblection on it so where war worn worn maybe you don't remember this one uh, it's okay Milan if you don't know let's try another one anybody knows how I can complete it Anybody? Uh, I have not. Mm -hmm. uh, we are uh, war. Where, where war worn? Worn. Worn. Okay. The, the seat. Yes, because this week isn't finished yet. I can wear it later. Great. Uh, let's try the next. Uh, using. Let's try this one. So how much money did, money did you huh? win so far? So far. Using. So far. Dotečka. Dotej. We have it here so far, right here, so far. For present perfect simple, so far. So easy. Can you try it again? Do této chvíle, kolik si vlastně vyhrál peněz? Do této chvíle. How much money have you? Uh, have you won? Have you won? Yeah. Vyslovujeme jako číslo jedna. Win, one, one. Okay. How much money have you won so far? Um, these days, 
OK? Takže ty, tyto dny hodně prší. Ota, can you try? Yes. It, 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 it was rain a lot of these days. Well, you could either, you, you basically have a choice. It rained or it has rained. There's nothing yeah, okay. else you can use here. So it rained a lot of these days. Are these days finished, Ota? Uh, I don't think so. So it yeah. has rained a lot of these days. There we go. Yeah, there we go. It, it is not finished yet these days. Uh, yeah, Columbus, uh, 1492. So Rosaline, can you try? Uh, yes, um, Columbus arrived in America in 1492. Yes, it's a specific year in the past and the year is finished, right? A long time ago. Now we, uh, anything since lunch, I have since, right? So uh, what do I use, Martin? Can you try? Uh, we haven't, uh, we haven't eaten. eaten. Yes, we haven't eaten. I am not using contractions because they ask me, I think not to use them. So then, yeah, yeah I'm not easy. Easy. but it's okay. Contraction is fine. I, ha I haven't eaten is okay. Um, so let's try it. Someone for example, Milan, can you try? Uh, two years ago. Yes, two years ago. Yes, yes. 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 Yes, Minulý čas, just the past simple. And the gif is irregular. To si musíme pamatovat, unfortunately. Right? We have to remember it. Gif, gave, given. Gif, yeah. gave, given. But I have two years ago. It is finished. She, she gave up. Uh, no, no, no. Gif, gave, given. I will also write it in your chest. Gif, gave, given. So we, we need the second form for the past simple. She gave up, okay? Gave up smoking two years ago. In, in the past, two years ago is finished. There's no effect on now. But if I only say, ona se vzdala kouzení a neřeknu kdy, then I would say she has given up smoking. And I don't know when, but I know the effect. She's not smoking now. All right, let's try this. When I was 10, um, for example, Philip, can you try? I wrote a poem. Mm -hmm. Can you translate the word poem for us? Uh, v češtině poema. Do we say that in Czech? I don't know. Myslím, že jo. I don't think so. <laughs> no, no. Báseň. Báseň, yeah, that's much better. Uh, my husband, takže můj manžel ještě nebyl v Japonsku. Uh, Martin, can you try? Uh, my husband hasn't been to Japan mm -hmm. yet. Hasn't been to Japan yet. All right, let's see if we have it correct. 100%, excellent. So, thank you so much, everyone. I hope that uh, your written task will be much easier now. I will send this file from here. I will send it to your Google Classroom, so you can always have a look at it. And this video will be on uh, YouTube, so you can also watch it again if you feel unsure about it. So. I hate grammar as much as you do probably, uh, but I hope that we survived it well and you had a lot of fun anyway. And uh, of course, we will focus on speaking again, yeah, the next lessons. So good luck with your written tasks and I will see you next week. All right, bye-bye. Bye. Take care, see you. Bye. Thank you, bye-bye. Bye-bye.